Okay, hello dear friends. Let's continue to do some problems. For problem 1 through 12, plot the, plot the graph of the function and tell the range. So we do only the, the odd number, okay? Because there is answer for the odd number. I make sure that I do it right. So the first one, I will copy the problem. This one is no use. The first one, y. Can you see it? Okay, now it's good. y equal to 0.3x square and the domain is real numbers. So, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> the smallest they are real number anything that is uh, squared is positive number so the smallest should be zero anything will be bigger than zero and uh, the domain uh, the, the, the range equal to y y is bigger or equal to zero. This is its range. Okay. Okay, number three. Y equal X plus three. Now the condition they give us domain is non negative non-negative integers so if it is non-negative integers the least of such number integer integer is one two three four it's a complete number no fraction no decimal point it's a complete a whole number right so non-negative integer the smallest is zero so the range will be from 0, x is, the domain is from 0 to whichever number, integer, Google, Googleplex. And then the y range will be the range of y will be, y the smallest y will be 3, right? Y equal and bigger than 3 and y is an integer so that is the range of question number 3 now separate question number 5 are we seeing it clearly okay try to make sure that you can see it Question number five, y equal to negative 12 over x, and the domain is positive real numbers. Positive real numbers. So, <clears throat> This one, when it is, uh, <clears throat> when this x number becomes the biggest, and the whole number is a, 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 um, a postal towards zero, right? So, and here is negative, so the range equal to y, and it will be always negative number because here is negative and uh, x is a positive real number so everything this part is positive and the 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 the, the, the opposite of positive is negative so is y will be smaller than zero
Number five. Number, Number seven. Let me try to make the camera a little bit more comfortable. Y equal to three over two, uh, two over three x because the Chinese way of saying is different from English. We say three parts and two parts of three parts. So I always get confused with this. And you can imagine the student who learn Chinese, the, the difficulty of it. So the domain, domain is x negative three, smaller than x, smaller than nine. So the domain is within three and nine. So you can see here, <coughs> and uh, it's uh, the slope is like, uh, is a positive number. So the x smaller, the result will be smaller. The x becomes bigger, the result will be bigger. So the smallest x, let's see, when x is negative three, y equal two negative two plus four equal two and when but this is not possible because uh, here x is not three but we are just supposing we are looking for that extremity okay when y equal to when x equal to nine times 9 plus 4 二三得, 二三得, 六, 六加四, equal to 10 so the domain the range will be y the smallest of the y value will be 2 and the biggest of y value will be 10 and uh, 2 and 10 is not included so there is not no equal sign okay this is a pure inequality no equation okay number nine the word is not fair why no I'm uh, let me just not get into politics Okay, come back to mathematics, which is universal truth. Y equal to X minus three, but absolute value and domain. Domain is X. X is between zero and seven. Okay, now let's see. You can see this one is uh, an, an absolute value. So when we see an absolute value, it means this number will be always positive. The smallest possible is zero. So the Y range, so we can make sure that Y range will be, will be anyway bigger than zero. Range. And when x equal to 7, the result will be 4. So that's the biggest. It's jung, 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 jung. range y is 0 smaller than x smaller than 4. So the range is between 0 and 4. We have squirrels and uh, just too many. See, they are. They, we have just too many squirrels. This is why we cannot produce any, any plum. Yeah, we produce the plum, but we cannot. They are having fun. Maybe this is their yellow season. 
this is not their you know season but still they are doing their you know things you know you know what i'm talking about right y 11 y equal to x square minus 5 x plus 7 and the domain is x is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so what do we do domain the x is these x are these numbers precise so we will need to figure out the y value precise so we will do a chart when x then y when x is 0 we plug into this formula 0 0 so y is positive 7 when x is 1 1 negative 5 positive 7 so this will be 3 and when x is 2 plug it in 4 minus 10 plus 7 one. Okay, when x is 3, 3, When x is 4, 4, Oh, oh, it's interesting. 7, 3, 1, 1, 3. I hope this will be 7. 5, 5, It's 5, 7. Ooh, 1, 1, 3, 3, 7, 7. So it, it absolutely makes sense. 5, this is 6. Uh, 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 when x is 6, 6636 So the range of y are these numbers precise. So one used one time, one used two times, but still it's one. However times it has been used, it is one. Three used two times, but it's three. 7 used 2 times, but it's still 7. You use 3,000 times, still 7 is 7, right? So the domain, the, the, the range is y. One, three, seven, thirteen. That's the domain of this problem. Okay.